a high school student. All right. Throughout the course of my short lifetime, I have seen a decline in education. A decline in true personal teaching of subjects and concepts, with a wide increase in standardization. Public school isn't just a place for kids to learn geometry, but a place where they can learn how to have successful human relationships and interactions. Where knowledge should be turned into wisdom and life skills, as opposed to test scores. Corporatization of the school district and profit for the banks is shutting these public schools down and kids are being pushed further from their homes, taking far longer commutes to schools with huge impersonal class sizes, where the only things the teachers have time to learn about their students are their test scores. And the only thing the students get to learn is how to pretend they're learning. That's right. Wow. But you all know the problems. I'm here today with a message for my generation. The future is in our hands. It's up to us to fix this to decide that we're going to do something with all of today's information at our fingertips and let the decline in education and education quality end with us. We can't just sit by and watch the schools go to the banks. We have to raise our voices and unite until we can at least hear ourselves. Right. Because someday we'll own the schools and the banks. All right. yeah. Together. Yeah. Yell <laughs> that enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough. We can't let the failure of education lead to a lack of inspiration. Right. We can't be the generation that sat still and allowed for the systematic destruction of the next 50 American generations. Right. And don't think that you can just avoid the problem and pass it on by retreating into the suburbs when you grow up. Because I'm from the suburbs and the problem is everywhere. Yeah. The generation in charge has forgotten the importance of the education system. But we don't have to. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> A police officer once asked my friend Jacob why he was stupid enough to protest. Wow. And he responded that he was exercising his First Amendment rights. Right. The policeman laughed in his face. Afterward, a man protesting with us came up to me and told me to never forget that our freedoms, though a right, are being treated as a privilege. And if we don't keep using them and reminding the country that those in charge don't have the power to take them away from us, right. they will slowly slip away. Right. Right. Utilize your freedoms. Fight for our future. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.